Hey, Laughter Tribe. I'm here to tell you that your season of sorrow is over. 2021 was a hard year for a lot of people. But this new season is not going to be the same. 2020 will not be the same. Why? How do you know, Crystal? How do you know? Things still look the same. I still feel the same. They're not going to be the same because you're going to be the change that you want to see. You're going to speak the things that you want to see. You're going to do the things that you want to do. You're going to make happen the things that you've been wishing, hoping, praying for, being too afraid to do. You're going to be the change that you want to see. How? How am I going to do that, Crystal? Aunt Crystal, how am I going to do that? By faith. God says to just walk by faith. Well, I don't know if I believe all that. Well, you know what? I do. And I got enough faith for the both of us, okay? I remember 2019, I was in a real bad place. I was pregnant with my seventh child, a single mom, going through a divorce. And I didn't see no hope in sight. I didn't see no hope. I was down. I was discouraged. And instead of letting, instead of letting that darkness devour me and overwhelm me, I decided to turn my pain into purpose and to write a book. Write a little book, okay? Because I'm like, I, I can't let this destroy me. I can't let my mistakes. Yeah, I made mistakes. But I can't let it destroy me. Let me help somebody else. And I would decide to write this little book. Write this little book. Tell my little story. And God did something amazing. He did something amazing. Better than I ever thought, hoped, or imaginedly. imagined. You know, God says he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. According to what? The power that works within you. So stop wondering how things are going to work out. Just do whatever God has told you to do, whatever is in your heart to do. Go ahead and do that. Stop being afraid. Stop watching everyone else win. Stop, you know, thinking of all the reasons why you can't do this. Stop thinking about all the mistakes you made in your past and why, you know, you don't, you're not qualified to do what you want to do when God has already qualified you. How you know? You're here. You have the desire. It's in your heart to do. When something is in your heart to do, and you just can't shake it. You can't get away from it. It's like just burning there. You know that, that there's something to that. And you can pray about it. You can, you know, but if it's in there, God said he will give us the desires of our heart, you know, as we seek him. So just know that your season of sorrow is over. Your season of setback is over. What the Bible says, you will have what, what you say. Ask and you shall receive, Right? So ask for that thing that you want and then work towards that because faith without works is dead. So don't give up hope. Don't just stop. Your sorrow, is see, see, your sorrow, your season of sorrow and setback is over. Walk by faith. Believe in yourself again. Heal from that hurt. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive those who left you. Forgive those who talk about you. And don't even mind them. Keep walking and loving yourself. Why? Because you can. You don't have to let your past determine your future. You don't have to look back in order to look forward. You look forward to all that God has for you. You don't worry about what they said. You don't worry about what they did. You stop, you know, replaying what happened over and over again. And you know that God has something great for you in 2022. Let's go on saying this song. Love yourself again. Love yourself again. Love yourself again. Love yourself again. Girl, why you tripping? Love yourself again. Love yourself again. Till next time, queens. I love you. Join the academy. I got some new little look. And I got some new courses coming. So check those out. And join my um, Instagram if you haven't. Get, check out my books on Amazon. And I'll see you later. Bye.